If your refrigerator don't have shelves or you just need extra, today I'm gonna show you how to make them. First, you will need to measure your shelves, how deep they are and how wide your shelves going to be. Every home improvement store have closet shelves like this. This is 12 inch, they also have a 16. Just go and get one. This particularly cost me $6. My shelves are exactly one foot wide, which is a 12 inch. So I went and already marked the location of cutting. Regular bowl cutter will do the job. Just make sure you cut as close as you can to this corner. I already cut one of the shelves from this long piece, so I would have to cut these pieces off so it will fit and it will be exactly 12 inch. Next step I highly recommend to touch up the corners of the shelves on the both sides. Otherwise, over time, they actually can get rusty due to moisture in your refrigerator. And for this job, I'll recommend you to use a Rust-Oleum uh, enamel paint. Just touch up uh, with a small brush. This is a black. I currently do not have on me the white, but I will purchase and will finish the job later. But this is what I recommend you to get. Now, this is what I'm using to hang my shelf you can use something else wherever works for you but I find out these are perfectly and they look like they were made to be there this bag of six cost me two dollars and fifty cents I had to get two because I have three shelves next step would be to drill holes in the plastic walls for your clips if you're using exactly the same clips one quarter drill bit will work perfectly for it just make sure when you drill you go very slowly otherwise you do not want to go all the way through your refrigerator i'm gonna be installing my shelf just like this one you see just slightly lower uh, than where actual original would go i already marked location of drilling on both sides and let me go ahead and drill the holes Our next step would be to mix epoxy. I got this five minutes gel, dry really quick, and it works really good. Now you don't have to put too much glue. Just a little bit, it will be enough to hold shelf at the four locations. Before gluing this clip, I will strongly recommend to clean and remove any kind of grease around this little hole that we just made so the epoxy will attach and hold much much better. You don't have to wait until your glue will dry. You can go ahead and install your new shell.
can go ahead and block those clips. And now your second shelf is ready to use. Just need one more. So in the process I decided not to install third shelf. I just used the bottom support and I found a longer shelf that I had in the storage unit. You can always make as many shelf as you want. Probably gonna add this one right here later on. Now it's time to fill the freezer. Guys, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer. And as always, thank you for watching.